Hello and welcome to Bay College's video lectures for Math 085. This is the applications to operations on mixed numbers from sections 2.9 and 2.10. Our first application, Bob wants to build a bookcase with six equally spaced shelves. He finds he has five and a half feet of vertical space for the shelves. How far apart should he space the shelves? So if we think about this, he has 5 and a half feet of shelf. That's a, about this high. And uh, we're not going to put anything above the shelf because we, we don't have the vertical space for it. But we want to have six shelves in between that 5 and a half feet. So if we think about this, if we have 5 and a half feet and we want to have equal space so that we have six shelves, we have to divide that 5 and a half feet we have into six equal spaces. So the, operation we have to do here with these mixed numbers is division. So I'm going to divide 5 and a half feet divided by 6. Now, in order to work with mixed numbers in multiplication division, we always convert this to an improper fraction. So I'm going to say 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 11 halves divided by 6. And when we divide fractions, we multiply by its reciprocal. So it's going to be 11 halves times 1 over 6, the reciprocal of 6. And now I can do that multiplication. There's no reducing I can do here. 11 and 6 have no common factors. And 1 and 2 have no common factors. So I'm just going to multiply it. 11 times 1 is 11. 2 times 6 is 12. So each shelf has to be spaced 11 twelfths of a foot apart. So if it's a foot, maybe we're familiar with inches, and we know there's 12 inches uh, per foot. 11 per 12, that's how many 11 twelfths of a foot, which would be 11 inches. All right, let's look at the next example. Oh, and let's go back for a moment. I almost forgot. Units. This is feet, 11 twelfths of a foot. Yeah, we can say foot. Or we could write that as 11 inches because we understand that conversion, if you're familiar with that. Otherwise, it's really important. Application problems always have units. All right, so if we look at this problem here, we've all read nutrition labels in the past, I'm sure, or have seen them at some point. This asks us. Uh, a nutrition label on a can of chili shows that there are 26 grams of carbohydrates for each cup of chili. How many grams of carbs are there in two and a half cups? Well, if we think about this, many containers contain more than just one serving. Maybe in this case, our can of chili has two and a half servings, two and a half cups. But the nutrition label is per serving, 26 grams of carbs. So if I'm going to eat this whole can of chili, I want to know how many grams of carbohydrates I'm going to eat. So 2 and a half is given information. And for every 1 cup is 26 grams, 2 and a half times more than that, we're going to multiply this mixed number by 26 grams of carbohydrates. So now we have multiplication of a mixed number. So we're going to write it as an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5 halves. So 2 and a half is 5 halves. I'm going to multiply that by 26. And I can think of this 26 as being over 1. 2 and 26 have that common factor. So I'm going to reduce it here. This becomes 13. That becomes 1. We just factor out that 2. And now my denominators are both 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. And one divide, anything divided by 1 is that number. So we just have to concern ourselves with our numerators now. 5 times 13 is going to be 65. So 65 over 1 is just 65. But because it is an application problem, 65 what? Well, if we go back and read the story problem, we see that it's 65 grams. And I'm just going to abbreviate a lowercase g for grams of carbs. So we have the appropriate unit. So if I eat the entire can of chili, I will have consumed 65 grams of carbs. 
All right, so we're going to move over here next. <clears throat> this application says Betty is planning a barbecue. If she buys 27 and 3 quarter pounds of hamburger, how many quarter pound hamburgers can she make? Well, if we reread it, we see we, she's buying 27 and 3 quarter pounds of hamburger. So that's given information. Let's write that down. How many quarter pound hamburgers can she make? Quarter pound. So what she's going to do, if we think about it, is she's going to take for every pound, she's going to divide it into quarters. Because each burger is one quarter. That's what quarter pound tells us. So we're going to take this, and we're going to divide it into four equal sections for every pound. So I'm going to. Uh, Divide it by a quarter, quarter pound, right? It says quarter pound. So this is a division problem. The last one was multiplication. We think, OK, well, how are they different? Well, the first step is always the same. We want to write this as an improper fraction. So I'm going to say 27 times 4. And that's going to give me 108 plus 3. So that's going to be 111 fourths. Now we're going to divide it by a quarter. Let's just rewrite that for a moment, because here's where multiplication and division are different. If I'm dividing fractions, I have to multiply by its reciprocal. Well, the reciprocal of 1 fourth would be 4 over 1, or just 4. And we can see, hey, we can reduce here. This 4 on top will reduce the 4 on the bottom. And now I have 111 times 1, which is just 111, divided by 1 times 1. Well, that's nice that everything kind of reduced. And I get 111. We have to think. Application problems. What are, what are we going to get 111 of? Hamburgers. Quarter pound hamburgers. Maybe we want a quarter pound hamburgers. We want to be very specific with this unit. 111 quarter pound hamburgers. All right, so this is your answer, not to be confused with your unit of the application. All right, we're going to look at one more. So maybe Betty's uh, barbecue is actually in Texas, because I hear they have the best barbecue. And we need to fly there to enjoy Betty's barbecue. So we're going to fly, and it says the total weight limit allowed for luggage without an extra charge on an airplane is 50 pounds. And your luggage is 60 and 5 eighths pounds. How many pounds over the limit are you? All right, we, we see that there is a limit of 50 pounds. And we're over by some amount, 60 and 5 eighths pounds. It asks, how many pounds over the limit are you? Obviously, we might recognize that, hey, there's a difference in these numbers. And we're asked to say, how Many pounds over the limit. How far over? What's the difference that we have here? So this is an application of mixed numbers where we have to deal with addition or subtraction. We're going to use subtraction here. My bags are 60 and 5 eighths pounds. I want to know how far over this limit, so I'm going to find their difference. Well, if we recall in the previous section, we have to do this subtraction. Well, 5 eighths minus nothing is still 5 eighths. Well, that works out nice. We didn't have to do any borrowing here, because the smaller value is uh, the negative. And then we have 60 minus 50 is 10. So my bags are 10 and 5 eighths pounds over the limit. All right, so that one wasn't so bad. Find these problems. Find the applications. Work through them. They're only going to come with practice. So keep doing your homework, and good luck. Thank you for watching.